Greetings to all. I would like to give you a proper scientific background to the problem of climate change and the relationship of electromagnetic radiation to climate change and even uh, carbon footprints to climate change because this is an important problem that we have to deal with in future smart cities. We always think of smart cities are being ecologically sound when we have a zero carbon footprint because we think that the carbon gases they are the main problem causing uh, global warming and so we try if we decide to take away all cars all types of combustion engines from a city we will have an ecologically sound friendly city the problem here is not that we have to look at it in a different way electromagnetic radiation itself is an even greater problem in relation to global warming and climate change than uh, carbon emissions because any wave that moves like that creates heat and everybody knows that you create heat with microwaves so here the source with which you create your electricity is irrelevant whether you create it through solar energy whether you create a wind energy or any conven conventional means the result at the end is electricity so the result is the same so the result has nothing to do with the way you produce electricity it is the harmful effect of electromagnetic radiation on the body and its heating effect on the climate that is the main problem now the earth has electromagnetic radiation the earth has natural carbon emissions all living species on the earth exchange carbon with the earth so natural carbon emissions are part of our life force part of our life natural electromagnetic radiation of the earth is part of our life force it makes our heart beat it makes all that so why are the natural forms of carbon and electricity very beneficent and part of of our living life force and our industrially uh, or industrial forms of electromagnetic radiation and whatever carbon emissions why are they causing climate change and why are they harmful because the natural counterparts have life force in them the industrial counterparts do not have life force in them so here we have the problem of when something is infused with life force life force has a natural life preserving quality in regulating the temperature so there's an inner regulation of the atmosphere by anything produced naturally but industrial production of electricity and carbon emissions does not have this inner regulation and they produce uh, global warming and contribute to negative aspects of climate change so we have solutions we are not speaking uh, pure theoretical science or through experiments we have worked on cities in Switzerland we have worked on two areas uh, Hamburg and St. Gallen uh, Hirschberg and Appenzell and uh, the people were plagued by the harmful effects of electromagnetic radiation on humans animals and plants and we put our by jump solutions 
infusing life force into the electromagnetic radiation of the areas and as a result 60% of health symptoms were reduced. Nature became totally different. It became healthy. The animals in the forests returned. The migrating birds returned to the areas. The cows started giving uh, uh, milk properly and uh, in the whole areas, for example in uh, Hamburg, epilepsy uh, which was very prominent in the area was reduced to zero and many many other health problems uh, sort of disappeared and the most important thing with the reduction of inner stress in living species what happens is you have a change in psychological attitude people became uh, friendly uh, less aggressive so the whole community changed the mayor came out on TV and thanked me saying you brought peace to my community so when we look at future cities smart cities in, in particular we have to connect with the life force of the earth we have to look at the earth energy patterns of the earth and the undergrowth water patterns of the earth and then adapt our planning to the earth energy patterns so that we infuse all aspects of the city with life force from the earth so the city grows out of the earth and then what happens we can add layers of technology but they are added on a sound natural life force bearing base in ancient times communities always thrived around water wells lakes rivers because there they connected with earth life force so we have to rethink the way we plan our cities we have to introduce solutions to bring life force into the cities and make them very human friendly the intense and the high level of electromagnetic radiation in a smart city can be transformed into a high level container of life force that will have very profound healing effects so this is the future of smart cities that can be reached through our biogeometry solutions that have been practiced in different solutions uh, all over the world for the past 50 years. Thank you.